Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk to you a little about Wakelet and how you can use it to organize information um, and give it to your staff or to other ways to use it during this COVID outbreak. That would be good for librarians. So it is a place where you can organize everything in one place and you can embed it and you can do all these great things. So you can do Twitter, feeds, you can do Facebook, Flipgrid, drive items, links, videos, all in one place. It's a really good site. Now, if you look up here, this is wakelet.com is the address. So you can log in and usually I log in with just my Google account. So you can log in with Google, continue with Microsoft, continue with Facebook, or you could create an account. I have my students just create a Google account. So I'm just gonna use this one here to log in. And as you see, when you log in, it's gonna ask you to create collections or you can see the collections that you already have. All you do is you hit create a new collection. You can add a cover image, which you could upload from yourself or they have an amazing library of lots of really cool images in there. I'm going to choose this one and you can make it a full image or a half image or you can even hide the cover image if you don't want to show that. So we'll make it half an image. Then you always you must enter a title for this collection. So we're going to call it showing librarians how to use we click. And then if you want, you can write a description. And then all you can do is this is where you put the plus arrow to add stuff. So I can add a URL, I can add a text message, I could add text, I can add a YouTube, I can add a Twitter, I could use bookmarks, images, PDFs, Drive, OneDrive, and Flipgrid video all in one place. So how I usually use it is I like to organize text and URLs in here to give to staff. So a lot of my wakelets you'll see are usually made up of text or URL. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So you can just put the URL right in here. So if you have a URL to a site that you want to add in, like, I don't know, we're going to talk about Flipgrid. So um, you can just take the URL and add it right in. So I have Flipgrid up here and I'm just going to add that in here. Click, you know, copy and paste it. And then it puts it in for you. So, and it makes it nice because they make the little like image and it tells you what it is. But if you wanted to edit this, you could, you could type anything in here to make it a better description for you. And sometimes I do, and you can even choose edit the image. If an image doesn't come up, you have the ability to edit the image. So you can put links in here. You could put text. And sometimes I like to organize these collections in different, different views. So I sometimes will make something like these are all the, you know, screencasting tools. And I could put it in bold or I could do a heading so it's bigger. And then I can hit save. Now, if I wanted screencasting tools to come before it, I can just edit the order and I can just move it up. They also have this easy reorg, reorder mode, which allows you to, you know, especially when you have more things, easily reorder things. So I can do that. I'm going to show you, let's say we want to add a video from YouTube. You can just put the link right from YouTube and it will add it right in. Um, if you want to add a image, you can just upload an image or choose from the library to add it right in. So there's lots of great and easy ways to do this. And I highly recommend using Wakelet for, then, for that. And then all you do is you hit save and exit and you've made your first wakelet. My next video will show you how to, some ways that I have used it in my library.